Hello guys, welcome back again. This is Suresh from Mesh Automation Channel. Today in this session, I'm going to demonstrate about uh, a SOAP API using a Postman user interface. And uh, people are a bit worried about which tool that they need to use for testing APIs. Uh, so ideally, people think that uh, SOAP APIs can be tested using uh, SOAP UI. So we can also test using a Postman as well. So I will show you a simple demo today how we can use the SOAP API here. Before that, uh, I will demonstrate about uh, SOAP and REST differences in a quickly. Uh, so this is the difference between the SOAP UI, uh, SOAP API and uh, REST API. Generally SOAP uh, are called as simple object access protocol, whereas the REST is called as a representational state transfer using an architecture of HTTP. And uh, these SOAP API calls are mainly on XML based format, whereas here REST is uh, JSON based calls. And uh, because of the XML based, it relies on the SOAP and it works with a uh, visual document. So visual document is something which will provide you the complete details of uh, API. So we will talk about visual uh, in later sessions. And in the rest, it works with the get, post, put and delete options. And in the SOAP APIs, we have an advantage of using HTTP, HTTPS. Along with this too, we have SMTP and XMPP. And uh, here in the REST API, we have only HTTP and HTTPS. And these are highly structured and typed uh, programs or typed uh, APIs. And here these are light weighted. So we can uh, handle very easily this REST APIs. So these are the simple differences between them. Uh, we can go in deeper in later on sessions. And uh, people are worried about uh, from where we can get the open APIs for SOAP. So don't need to worry. Postman uh, provides uh, some APIs which are open. You just need to open any browser and type the public SOAP APIs. Then you will navigate to this URL documentary get postman.com. Then here you will find all the public SOAP APIs. So I'm using one of them today. So this is one of a number to word conversion. This is a URI that we need to use. This is the URL and I will go to the postman and as I already created a new one here I just make it as a get to post and this is a URL that I need to post and then uh, we have headers which is a content type which is a text XML and we have a body because post will accept a body right we need to provide some information in the body so I'm just quickly copy this and go to the postman in the body you have many options here go to raw type and here you have a text after that uh, you have an arrow down click on that and you will select XML and paste it here now you just need to send this API and I think there is an error coming up so this error is because of content type so we don't have a content type here let's create a content type just type content type and then you have a value right so in the browser URL uh, here they have mentioned the content type we need to provide text slash XML so we can use that as a value for it and uh, let me quickly hit it again now you got the answer here so this is uh, api to convert a number to a word so in the body we just used right 500 as a number and in return we got a 500 here let me use one more uh, digit here let's take it as a 5000 let's see so we got a 5000 and similarly if i increase another zero it should be 50000 yes 50000 and if i increase one more zero it should be 500,000 likewise you can convert and you can play around with this test APIs so 5 million so there are many public APIs we have around so in this small session I just wanted to show you that uh, we can utilize the postman for SOAP APIs as well so in next sessions we're gonna see in deeper about writing test cases uh, or uh, sending some variables and understanding the wisdom we will see all that thank you for watching I hope this session is helpful for you. In case if you are new to my channel, do subscribe to my channel. Thank you.